What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another day in freezing cold Minot, North Dakota. It is currently negative 16 degrees, real temperature, with a wind chill of negative 42. And that's just the beginning. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. We're gonna get all the way down to negative 31 or 32 around 8 a.m. And we're supposed to have wind chills around negative 50, negative 60, almost into negative 70. We'll see what happens. It's gonna be super cold, but today we're gonna try a couple experiments that have nothing to do with cars. Just some cool winter weather experiments with Mason and Megan. First, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna freeze some water midair. I have a pot of water right now on the stove. Should be boiling here in a few minutes. And we're gonna throw that up in the air and it's gonna freeze before it even hits the ground, hopefully. It should, it's already cold enough. Secondly, we're gonna try a bubble experiment where we're gonna try to freeze bubbles as they come out of our little bubble wand here. I don't know if it'll work with the big bubbles. I've seen a video of it on Facebook, but it was also in a place that's not windy like mine. Uh, and I'm afraid the bubbles might just get carried off in the wind and we might not even get to see them freeze. But we're gonna try, we'll try with this camera. We'll get my cell phone out and just do a slow-mo with a little slow-mo thing on the iPhone. See what we can get. Hey Mace, what? you got those socks on? Yeah. You ready to put some boots on and try some winter experiments? This should be ready any moment from now and as soon as Megan gets home from work in a couple minutes, we're gonna head outside and get this started. I think our water's ready. Come check it out. Confirm that the water is boiling, right? You see the bubbles? That means it's super hot. Yeah. And now we're gonna take this pot of boiling water outside and we're gonna throw it in the air. And before it hits the ground, this super hot water will be frozen. Yeah. All right, get your boots on real quick and put a jacket on, let's go. We're gonna do an today outside. All right. With hot water and bubbles. You guys go ahead and head out the front door. I'm gonna make my way as soon as you guys get out there. Okay, I'm not ready. Watch, on. watch Mason. You see how most of it froze? Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Go over here. We're gonna go on the other side so the wind's not blowing. It's so cold I can feel my nose hairs freezing inside my nose. You have nose hairs yet, Mason? No. <laughs> All right, let's try this. That one just destroyed. They're kind of freezing. You can see them freezing up. They're not clear anymore. <coughs> oh, it's so cold it's hard to breathe. They're rolling on the snow. <laughs> Look at that one. That one's trash now! Look at that one, Mason. <laughs> it's trash! Yeah, it's like it's like a solid almost. Oh, that's a big Oh, destroyed. They're just disintegrating. They cannot pop, guys. Oh, that's a big one. Look at this one, nice. Oh, and it's gone. There were some good ones behind you. Look at that. That's a good one. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> All right, let's try the slow mo camera.
Hope you guys enjoyed those little winter experiments. Just something fun to share with you guys while we're stuck inside because it's freezing cold. Any outside activity in an extremity that's not covered up within 10 minutes can cause frostbite. So I went to work today, but we didn't do anything. We weren't going outside unless it was absolutely like a national emergency or some kind of mission that was coming down, but we did nothing. And tomorrow it's gonna be even colder. Like I said, when we wake up, negative 32, wind chills negative 50, 60 going 70. So hopefully we don't even go to work tomorrow. That's what I'm hoping for at least. But just a nice little experiment for the fam and I felt like I should share it with you guys. The FRS is doing pretty good. It starts a little slow in this super cold, but it's good. Check out this picture of the exhaust though earlier. The car had been running for like 20 minutes. It's not like it anymore. The car was running for maybe 20, 30 minutes. I was waiting on Mason to get out of school. And I came back out from picking him up, left the car running, and the exhaust was completely white. Like the inside, the condensation, it all froze while the car was still on. I thought that was pretty funny looking. Um, the GTR, I haven't started in a few days. The battery's for sure dead. I'm going to be getting a trickle charger for it soon. I checked at the store the other day, but they didn't have one, so I'm gonna go to a, a better store soon and get something. And uh, got a car show that I'll probably be taking it to in a couple weeks indoors. And the Jeep's been doing pretty good now that it's been in the garage, no problems really. The dogs can't last more than a few minutes outside right now, which I can understand, it's super cold. They get so excited to go outside, and then I let them outside and they're back at the door whining within two or three minutes. Cold on their little paws. Cold on their little paws. He's a good boy. But that's all I have to share with you guys today. I don't know what else we're gonna be doing in the next couple weeks to really share into the car show, but I'll come up with something. See you guys in the next video. As always, thanks for watching.